What 230 plus views for this car? It's unbelievable. I mean, no other car in my uh, videos got such kind of views in that in just a couple of days. So this is kind of shocking. Do you guys like this car so much? Comment it down below and let me know, guys. Anyway, start off with today's video. Of course, you guys know it. The Tata Nano, a car for every Indian. A pretty cool car. Pullback action. Yes, but no door opening. And the details are kind of low in this car. So, yeah, before we get to the specs and the unboxing part, if you guys are new to my channel, hit that subscribe button immediately and also press the bell icon for my latest video updates and or follow me on Instagram and Facebook if you guys want to see this car in more detail. Alright then, uh, actually this car is pretty popular in India but uh, there is some sort of hate for this car because of its size and that's why in 2018 there was only one car produced in the plant like only one nano was produced in the plant uh, compared to its previous year in 2017 which was 275 units so yeah that's a pretty low sales right there anyways now before we get to the uh, specs part first let's unbox this car and take a look at this Senti Toys Nano and check out its details. Also, if you guys want to purchase this car, uh, the links will be in the description below. So check it out, but don't just go yet. First watch the unboxing and then you guys can check it out. All right, now for the unboxing. Okay, first look of the Tata Nano. So, looking at the front end of this car, uh, yes, it has a pretty nice headlamps. I actually first thought these were Koenigsegg headlamps, but yeah, you can't compare it. That's ridiculous. But still, it had the exact same design, so kind of compared it with it. And here you have a little bit of uh, details disappointment because these headlamps aren't clearly done and these uh, indicators are just paint over there so yeah details aren't it's good stuff anyways it's having the nameplate nano right here the fog lamps aren't detailed the vents aren't detailed it's just left empty and the logo is just a hole right there so pretty disappointing in the details part and you have this retro kind of sticker which doesn't even stick properly okay so that's a pretty disappointing thing and this goes all the way to the vents actually these vents are functional because this car is a mid-engine car and uh, probably a two-cylinder one so yeah it's not that cool and it's also a rear wheel drive did i forget that okay and these lug nuts are actually five but in the actual nano it's only three so and these tires are exact copy of the nanos because uh the width of the tires is exactly the same they're too small and this is the bottom of the car you have a nano written right here nano scale mall any toys Yes, that's pretty nice and the interior is pretty well done, I can say that. Don't fall for this guys because the nanos never came with sunroofs so maybe in the concept they did but not in this one. If they even came with sunroof, where are the uh, side view mirrors? There are no side view mirrors on this so pretty disappointing. The back, you have the tail lamps of the Tata Indica so I don't know, it just never came up to me, like it didn't look so good to me. And you have the exhaust vent right here, I mean not exactly a vent but a uh, protrusion or something with no exhaust. And this is definitely not an electric car, so yeah. You have vents for cooling right here which is not detailed, again disappointing. Okay fine, so as we have taken a round look of this car, let's hear its pullback. Pretty nice and fast because it's light, yes. Alright, now for the specs of this Nano. So, back to the info part of this Tata Nano. First thing, talk about its mall. Actually, this is the 2008 to 2014 mall. Uh, yeah, so it's somewhere, it ranges somewhere between that. And going for the engine, the engine you have two options. One is a 624cc inline two cylinder, which is a single overhead cam, multi port fuel injection one. And the other one is a little bit powerful. Maybe it came in the Nano Twist. That is the 814cc single overhead cam, multi port fuel injection, inline two cylinder engine. And both these engines were only available in petrol, no diesel for this car. 
as it is too small and going for the transmission you have two options one is a four speed manual and the other is a five speed automatic uh, the four speed manual if you want the punch even in this car and the five speed auto is if you want to even go slower Going for the horsepower, yeah the 624cc engine produces 37 brake horsepower and the 814cc engine produces 55.2 brake horsepower which is um, yeah still kind of low you know, like way too low. Going for the acceleration, okay this takes forever, um, no not exactly but it takes up to 30 seconds to 100 kilometers per hour and the top speed of this car in the 37 brake horsepower engine it all goes all the way up to 105 kilometers per hour and in the 55 brake horsepower engine it goes 135 kilometers per hour yeah there is a bit of difference in the top speed right there so you decide going for the body style this is obviously a five door hatchback yes a five door hatchback wait did you guys see the details part yeah it is five doors this car is a rear wheel drive and also those vents are functional because it's a mid engine car just in case you guys forgot what i said earlier so yeah now going for the ratings all right it's not that high as i said earlier looking at all of its specs and its features and details obviously i give it a 7.5 out of 10 hmm, that low well comment your ratings down below let me know in the comment box and also if you guys want to purchase this car the links will be in the description so check them out too i'll see you all next week guys stay tuned for more dcs out and don't forget to follow me on instagram and facebook bye bye see thanks for watching and do subscribe